Justin. Hello Gaspar. So I'm very happy to have this first interview with you. You can start to introduce yourself. Uh, how did you start to work with uh, Odoo Portitis? Uh, my name is Stanislav, but um, I usually advise everyone to call me Stan. Originally I'm from, um, from Ukraine, but I lived nearly all my life in, uh, in Belgium. How I ended up in Portitis? Actually, this is a very interesting question because I ended up by uh, finishing actually my uh, master's degree in uh, China. And from there, as I was already in, uh, in Asia, basically, I was looking for an internship. I knew you, actually, from my studies. And uh, you proposed me, yeah, uh, uh, I just created my own company. You can do your internship with, uh, with us, with Port Cities. At the end, after China, then I ended up doing my internship at Port Cities in Semaran. We were uh, working from a, uh, from a garage, from a very small house. Uh, I remember that uh, uh, me, Gaspar, and Charles, Uh, the other co-founder of, uh, of Port Cities Indonesia. We were sleeping uh, above on the house and our engineer were uh, below and uh, we were all working together in the, in the garage. So it was a very interesting experience and uh, it's a story that I always like to explain because it shows where we come from actually with, uh, with Port Cities. When you arrived the first time in, uh, in Indonesia, you are right to remind it was a kind of a startup environment, also in a garage, etc. But It was not the Silicon Valley garage, mm -hmm. <laughs> a bit different, but I mean, that was actually funny. But did you expect what was going to happen next when you arrived the first time in, uh, in Semarang? Actually, I, uh, I never expected to continue to, uh, to work in Indonesia. I always had the, the, the idea that uh, after I finish my internship, I will go back to Belgium or at least in Europe and I will continue to work from, uh, from there basically. But uh, I enjoy my internship, I enjoy the experience, I enjoy the countries, the, the country of Indonesia and end of the day, I decided, yeah, why not stay there longer? Then, uh, after my internship, I uh, got an offer for a full-time job with Port Cities. Uh, as soon as I finished my, uh, my master thesis, I uh, directly uh, took a flight to go to Jakarta and to start to work as a project manager uh, in ERP implementation, actually, with, uh, in Jakarta uh, with Port Cities. From there, I spent a few years in Jakarta. Then I... Uh, Uh, I went to uh, Malaysia to continue the, the, the business of Port Cities Malaysia to try to develop more this, uh, this branch that was uh, growing uh, already uh, very fast. From Malaysia, I had the opportunity to, of course, to grow the branch and then uh, also to, uh, to launch our business in Singapore. I saw directly the opportunity. There is a lot of demand. The, the market is very, uh, very mature. So. Uh, let's do it. Let's try it and uh, let's try to launch uh, something there. So it was not that easy at the beginning. I was looking for a lot of clients. Uh, uh, I was trying to do a lot of tender uh, with uh, uh, Singapore uh, private and uh, uh, public institution. And one day I got an approval for a big tender that I was doing in Singapore. And at this moment, I knew that actually, yes, we can really launch the business in Singapore because we had our first big clients actually there. So from there, I moved from Malaysia to Singapore to, uh, but to deliver the project that I just uh, uh, sold and uh, step by step, other projects started to, uh, uh, to, uh, to be added to our portfolio of clients in Singapore. And from there, uh, the business grew and uh, our branch in Singapore started to become uh, uh, actually quite consequent in the, in the group of companies that we have. Uh, from Singapore, what happened is that I slowly Uh, move to, to Japan. So we had a lot of opportunities that were coming actually from Japan. I already knew a bit the countries because I had good relationship, uh, me personally, with uh, several people uh, that uh, give us the, the, the opportunities to work in Japan. So I decided, yeah, why not? Why not try something new and, uh, and go to Japan, basically. Mm -hmm.